What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. It is 6pm. EA released some content today at 5pm, which we're going to go through in just a second. Uh, but first of all, we're going to have a look at if there's anything new. So the Future Stars Challenge they released at 5pm. Um, and then we've got the big transfer Daniel James that came as well, which we're going to go through in a second. And by looks of things... They didn't upgrade or update the McKenney that they made a mistake on. By looks of things, that's that's it. Um, however, is there any new league SBC? No. So, however, the Daniel James SBC, sorry, the Daniel James objective set that's there is genuinely brilliant. Now, I know I, I spoke before, like, I think this Erdegaard set is also very good, right? I, I didn't uh, enjoy the fact that EA called these, like, play them, upgrade them, right? You're not upgrading this. You're, you're exchanging it more than upgrading it, right? Um, and th this one's a bit... It's it's quite tricky. It, it's, it's a bit difficult. You know, there's a lot of really strenuous objectives in there, especially in Rivals. Uh, but... Although it's not what I want out of FIFA in terms of actually upgrading a player, I still like it. And my request was for more. Um, I wanted more. I want more of this. And today, EA have actually given more. A FUT Future Stars Academy, Daniel James. At one point that got made to me uh, in a previous video was that for some people that can't grind all of these, or specifically the Erdegaards, the, this is a much, much better way than what EA used to do with um, objective cards. Because if, if you're a card collector, but you don't have time, you could just go and get the lowest rated version of the card really, really quickly and then have them in your club. And that's brilliant. So for those of you that don't have the time or the energy or the skill set to progress on to the highest rated card, this is really, really good for you. Um, because you could just pick up one of the lower rated cards. Uh, now, the first thing to note about Daniel James is that, A, it's a brilliant card at the end end game, right? Uh, not an end game card per se, uh, but it is definitely a brilliant card uh, by the time you get him. So he has um, his 75 rated card, which is a left midfield card. Um, if Footbin wants to load back up for us. Nope, footbin's down. Is footbin down? Footbin's down. Well, let's let's go back here. Um, so his first card is a left mid card, uh, and the objective is just assist three goals using Premier League players to claim it. You could do that in any game mode, anywhere, any way you want. If you want to just go and play against a pal, get three Premier League assists, you've got yourself the 75 Daniel James. Um, now, what's interesting about this card is A, it's got great pace, uh, not this card. About this, the 75 card is A, it's got great pace. Um, but B, it is a left mid. It's really low rated. And it has three star skill moves and four star weak foot. Or is it four star skill moves and three star weak foot? Either way, it's like the worst version of him that you could possibly get, right? So Footbin is back here. Let's uh, let's go back onto Footbin and go back into Hammers here. So this, oh, maybe not. Is Footbin like broken and, and whatnot? Can we not have a look at this Daniel James card? Okay, never mind. We'll go into uh, we'll go into concepts for it. Um, so anyway, all you have to do to get the 75 James is assist three goals using Premier League players. Easy as you like. Uh, the second setup, which gives you a one rare player pack, is score two goals using the 75 rated card, which again, you can do in any game mode anywhere. So you can do that in online friendlies against a pal. You score your two, let him score his two, and then, or, you know, you score two and let him quit, then he scores two and lets you quit. Um, and then you get yourself a one rare player pack, and then you need to get two assists as well. So you can actually do that in the same game. You score two and assist two in one game, boom, that's done. Your power scores two and assist two, boom, that's done. Or you could just do it in squad battles or anything of the sorts there. Um, and then the third thing that you need to do uh, to get the 80 rated Daniel James is score using Future Stars, Daniel James in three separate matches to earn the 80 overall. So once again, you can actually do that on friendlies. So the the most efficient way to do it, of course, would be to get this one here, then go and play three games in online friendlies against your pal, score an assist in all three games that will cover all three of these objectives. And that will get you two one rare player packs and the 80 rated Daniel James, which is position changed from a left mid to a striker. This one doesn't have any skill move upgrades at this point. It's still four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. Uh, but you get yourself now an 80-rated striker card with 96 pace. Let's be realistic. This card is terrible. Doesn't look very good at all. You really probably wouldn't use that anywhere else 
um, at all. Next up, you've got the first timer. So score a volley using 80 rated Future Stars Academy James and squad battles on minimum semi-pro difficulty. Scoring volleys is really, really easy. You can just flick the ball up to yourself and volley it or just use a chip through ball to volley it or use the L1 square or L1X depending on what console you're on for the cross. So whatever uses cross, press L1 first and then cross it and it loops it really high, which makes it really, really easy to do volleys, especially on semi-pro difficulty where you can go into squad battles and play against the deadest bronze teams. You can also do it, of course, whilst doing icon swap tokens, which is really, really nice. Um, and you only have to do that once. And then you also have to score using a chip shot. Now, I have a feeling this is going to cause people some concern and some issues because a lot of people are going to not score the chip shot even after scoring the chip shot. So obviously we all know the L1 modifier is for chip shot, right? You hold L1, you press shoot, it's a chip shot. What we've learned from previous objectives in FIFA is that the chip shot only counts as a chip shot if it goes over the goalkeeper, right? So if, you're, if, you, like if your AI brings the goalkeeper out of goal, and you chip it just into an empty net, it just won't count. It has to go over the goalkeeper for it to count as a chip shot. I don't know how they even track that. Mind-blowing to me. Um, but when they did a previous chip shot objective, I scored so many chip shots that didn't count, and then it eventually counted when I looped it over the goalkeeper. So try your best to score a chip shot over the goalkeeper for that one to happen. Again, you could do both of these in the same game on semi-pro difficulty, really, really easy. And then the last thing you need to do to get Daniel James is score a low driven shot using the 80 rated Daniel James in four squad battles matches, not wins, just matches on minimum of professional professional difficulty. So again, professional difficulty is really easy. A low driven shot for those that don't know is L1 and R1 together. So you press L1 and R1 together, you score that low driven, you get an 82 Daniel James. Now this 82 Daniel James, it didn't say it here where it did with Erdegaard. When Erdegaard gets upgraded, it says with an improved three-star weak foot. What EA don't tell you here is that with this Daniel James here, you get uh, a four-star skill moves on this one. So he gets upgraded from three-star skill moves to four-star skill moves. He's also position changed to a right midfielder and has a much more usable card, even though not a great card, but a much more usable card. Um, so once you've done that, the next thing that we see is that we go to the classic crosser. Uh, there's four more objectives to get the main one. Assist five goals with crosses using the 82 rated Daniel James on professional difficulty on squad battles. Score two goals in two wins on legendary difficulty. And if you guys want to know how to beat the AI easy on legendary difficulty, I do have a video. I will link it in the description below. Uh, really, really easy to win on legendary difficulty. Uh, and scoring two goals with him is also going to be really, really easy as well. Um, and so you have to score two goals twice uh, in legendary wins. Uh, and then you score an assist using an 82 rated um, James in eight squad battles wins on world class difficulty, which again is very easy when you think about the fact that you can do it with icon swaps, right? And then the one that's probably going to be a little bit more difficulty, difficult whilst doing icon swaps is play 15 games with Daniel James in your starting lineup. But this is another one where once you've done everything, sorry, weak foot upgrade, not skill move upgrade, yeah. You, it goes from three star to four star on the week four to skill moves. Once you've done everything, if you still haven't got the games, just get Daniel James in your starting lineup, go into an online friendlies match against a pal, make let him quit straight away. You know, kick off, quit. Do it again, do it again, do it again, then you'll get him. And then for packs, you get one rare player pack, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, eight times. So eight one rare player packs as well. This is all done in squad battles, which I absolutely love. Um, I genuinely think yeah, I've done a really, really good job with this being a squad battles card. It, it's really, really easy to achieve. You know, the, the most stressful part of this whole thing is winning eight games. You know, playing eight separate games on world-class difficulty is going to be the most stressful part. That's, it's not going to be difficult at all. A uh, little, little, uh, little bit of boredom might come in, but if you use the squad battles glitch, which you'll see in my video on how to beat Legendary, where you just stand still for basically the whole game, you don't have to do anything, it will make it go by a lot, lot quicker. Um, so now heading back over to Futbin because it's there. 75 Daniel James is four-star skill with three-star weak foot and genuinely terrible. Um, please don't think that this card is good enough to fit in your team because it's not. Uh, the 80-rated striker James is also pretty terrible. A, a little bit better, but not great. Uh, I mean, you can get him up to an okay card in some regards, an 84, 85 cam, something like that. Um, but still not great. Uh, really, really low for this start, this area of the game. Then you get to the 82. Now, this is where he gets upgraded to a four-star weak foot and four-star skill moves. A much better card, 93 stamina, 
Um, and you know, you can get an 87 cam here. So if you don't want to go for the 86 Daniel James, if you just want to use this guy as a super sub, he could be quite uh, quite useful. Marksman in there is pretty good as well. Maestro in there is uh, pretty good as well. And then last but not least, when you do get the 86, I think this card is brilliant. Now you guys know I'm a big, big believer in reactions and composure being vital in FIFA. But there are also a lot of other stats that are vital in FIFA. And James has all of them in abundance. Acceleration and sprint speed, 98-98. Uh, with a dead eye, which is what I would play on him, he goes to 99 positioning, finishing, and shot power. He goes to 99 short passing, 94 vision. He gets 95 stamina with 99 agility and 95 balance. So other than reactions and composure, this card is unbelievable with four-star, four-star. Now, some people argued that a sniper would be better for him uh, because it boosts his composure up to 83, his reactions up, and then his dribbling and ball control up. Sure, that would also be good. I, I, I personally just think the boost in passing is valuable um, with, with the way this game plays, but you could also give him the sniper or you could give him the maestro, uh, which could arguably be the better shot, the better chem star. But I, I think, uh, I, I, definitely, I definitely do agree that either sniper um, for that massive dribbling boost or Deadeye for that massive passing boost is going to be where you want to go. What I like most about Deadeye is it gives uh, the shot power a, a big boost, whereas sniper doesn't. Now, it's only 96 versus 99. It's not really that much different. And then also you get 99 positioning versus 93 positioning, which again, isn't that much different. Uh, maybe you care about the dribbling boost more, but regardless of what you do, sniper or dead eye, you are going to have on your hands as a starter or as a sub, um, a really, really quality card. Uh, like, you know, he, he just fits what we would consider the meta of, um, of FIFA, really. So... I think it's uh, I think it's real good. And then for other SBCs today, as I said, there's a daily challenge, um, which is a prime election players pack. And let's see what we can make in terms of profit off of this one. Uh, four, three, three, five from the same nation, 75 rated. So probably leagues as a maximum of seven, same league a maximum of two. So this is going to be a couple of nations here. So you, what you're going to see is your major nation uh, minor league Right wings, left wings, right backs and left backs are going to go through the roof. So probably Spanish, uh, Spanish second league, um, Italian second league, but like German second league, like this guy here as a rare 74 rated Bundesliga, non-Bundesliga player. Yeah, I mean, he's already up to by looks of things about four or five K. So go and check out all of your major nation minor league um, cards because it's going to be time to clean up there because people are, you know, people are just stupid. Uh, and then before we get out of here, guys, uh, we've got seven packs from League SBCs that we put together uh, over the last um, day or so. Um, and then we'll be back later on with another Draft of Glory. So uh, let me know what you guys think about James in the comment section. And let me know, first of all, are you doing Erdegaard and James or only Erdegaard or only James and why? Are you going to do Daniel James because he is only squad battles and so it's easier to work towards him? Are you not going to do him because you don't think it's a good enough card? Like, let, let me know what you guys are going to do with uh, with that card um, when it, uh, well, now, I suppose, when it's out. And um, let me know if you're glad that it's only squad battles or if you would preferred maybe instead of an 86 rated card, imagine if they had an, like a 90 rated card that was attainable through rivals, you know? So like, for example, um, win score score and assist in 15 rivals wins to get a 90 rated version of him you know something like that w would you have preferred a, a bumper card on top or are you happy with the fact that uh, there's an, an 86 rated james there for you to pick up through nothing other than squad battles which you can do whilst doing other objectives and icon swaps at the same time i like it in general i think it's a uh, really really nice we're gonna go walk out here no um i think it's really really good i like the fact that they're boosting skill moves and weak foots throughout these objective cards, you know, rather than just keeping them really, really boring and, and uh, to, towards their base base cards. And then also, guys, there is um, the 50k pack SBC again for James. You have to submit all four versions of his card for a 50k pack. I personally don't think it's worth it. Um, you know, I, I think the card itself is more valuable than an untradeable 50k pack for objectives uh, just for having as as a player that you can utilize. So I personally don't think the big transfer. Oh, we get a walkout to end with. Uh, I personally don't think the big transfer James SBC is worthwhile at all. Um, but uh, that's not a bad pack. 
Um, but uh, that 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 I suppose would be up to you guys. You know, it might be one of those things where you're like, oh, I'm I'm never gonna use this James card. So maybe what I'll do is go and get him so that I can get the big transfer um, 50k pack. Or is it big transfer Daniel James? So there you go. So four of these, you get 200 coins for each of them. Um, and then, of course, a 50k pack at the end. But it's untradeable. So for me, it's, it's personally not worth it. But you might want to do it just to get that 50k pack. But that, guys, is going to be the end of the video for now. We'll be back with the draft a little bit later. Thank you guys as always for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.